The purpose of this video is to give new owners some tips on how to handle their kittens in the new home. Sit down. The reason I picked this kitten is because uh, he's going to a new home today and it's exactly the size that you would be getting. Handling is very important. The kitten would be shy and particularly in the new surroundings with new smells, new faces uh, and new noises. So it's likely to be a little bit scared. Some will take longer to come round, the others could be quite confident. So when we handle the cats, we spread the palm and we want to put it underneath the chest and hold it that way. And that with the other hand, we lift the bottom, we could put both feet, whichever you find comfortable. But generally the cats like to have their feet facing the ground so they could land if they're being dropped. So while they're settling, please use this method and in the future when the cats become heavy. Once they've learned to know you and you are both enjoying each other's company, that's when you could start handling in any way, other way. You could cuddle them, you could carry them upside down and do whatever you like with them. But for, for the begin, beginning, remember to hold them firmly. While the kittens are settling in their new homes, they are likely to lose their appetite. So don't worry if they're not eating well or even drinking for the first couple of days. This is the food the kittens have been fed on and I would like you to stick to the same food. This is Royal Canyon Maine Coon Kitten. Drinking tap water. This is a bit of fresh chicken that only should last you for a couple of weeks and then you're going to discontinue it, but I'll talk about this a bit more in detail later. And whiskers in jelly. It could be either kitten whiskers in jelly or adult whiskers in jelly. It doesn't make any difference. Dry food and water should be available at all time. Um, change your water frequently and top up the dry food. I would advise you to start with a smaller size bowls. That is easier to monitor how, how much the kitten is eating. I start weaning my kittens onto the freshly minced chicken legs. Nearer the collection time, I start introducing more whiskers to it uh, because it's going to be easier for the new owners. In fact, I do the mix of the two and I'm going to show you how it's done. I will only ask you to feed this mix for a couple of weeks while the kittens are settling so they're familiar with the same food. After a period of a couple of weeks, you could gradually decrease it and completely stop and the kittens should be fed on dry food and water only. I normally ask new owners to purchase a couple of packs and freeze them in a small, easy to manage sort of size bowls, usually a small apple size. We're gonna mix this with a pouch of whiskers. So very often it comes out of the fridge, so it's a little bit cool. So we're adding a bit of warm water. just to warm it up and make it a little runnier. We then add whiskers to it and stir it. So this is our mix and we're going to dish it into a flat plate rather than a bowl. So dry food and water should be available at all times and wet food, which is a mix of chicken with whiskers, could you please offer one meal a day for the first couple of weeks and then gradually discontinue. The intention is to stop completely and only feed dry and have water available. Royal Canyon Maine Coon Kitten is suitable until the age of one or one and a half years old and then you could move on to Royal Canyon Maine Coon Adult. If your kitten gets upset tummy, which could, which could happen due to stress or a diet change, please stop all food for 12 hours at least. Only offer water. And then cook some chicken breast, either on its own or with a bit of rice, and offer it as two set meals, morning and afternoon. You could do it for two or three days until the tummy settles. For grooming, we would need a molting comb and a slicker brush. A slicker brush, we use it from any age, and this is sort of adult size, which would last you a lifetime. We brush them backwards to make them nice and fluffy. 
all over. Some don't like it, so it is essential to start doing it at an early age so they get used to it. Oh! When the cats become older, and they, some of them are going to have very, very dense coats, you, you might find it difficult. So in that case, we're going to work in parts. Sort of working our way down the whole cat, any direction. He's having enough. Molting comb comes into play when the cats start molting, or you just want to give them a comb. Kittens generally do not molt, so there's hardly anything on it. When the adults will start molting, there's going to be, it's usually spring, summertime, there's going to be a huge amount of this woolly undercoat that needs to come out. So that's when we use the comb, and we comb and comb and comb and remove all the dead undercoat. Claw clipping is essential in the beginning to avoid little scratches like that and also damage to your furniture and curtains. We can use animal clipper or a human one. Makes no difference at all. So what we do, we would, ideally we should secure them either sitting when you as a person is sitting on your lap or standing uh, next to your tummy. Push the claws and cut the tip off. We push it and cut the tip off. Exactly the same with these clippers. Push it out and cut the tip. Push it, cut it, push and cut. Back ones never grow as long, but we could still do them. Push and cut, push and cut. The very last one. If your kitten will be going outside, and particularly grows into an adult that goes outside regularly, do not clip the claws. It's essential they keep the length. It helps them clinging onto fences when they're trying to climb up and defending themselves in a fight if they have a scrap with another cat or a fox. This is a tip on how to apply the parasite treatment. This time I'm using Advocate. It goes on the top of the skin, at the back of the shoulders, where the cat cannot lick themselves. And then it works for four weeks, it stays in the system for four weeks. I would advise not to overdo the cats, particularly the ones that live in the flats. The ones that need to be regularly treated every four weeks are the cats that go out a lot, particularly in the countryside or in the farmlands. So I'll show you how to do it now. So this is Advocate, it's a little pipette. Opens up like that. Kittens are very impatient, so you might need someone else to help you doing it. So what we're trying to achieve is to make a part. And then we're gonna put drops on the skin alongside the part, but it must be on the skin. So Enough medication goes in. Then we close the fur. We should put them away for an hour to play and do their own thing and not handle. This is a little tip on how to give medication, particularly tablets, um, which I guess most cat owners would have to do sometime in their life. That makes it this is sort of a professional tip that would make it a lot easier for you to do. Tablets range in size and they could be capsules. These tablets seem tiny, they're very bitter on the tongue. Um, so sometimes it's not the size that is the problem. So as soon as it hits cat's tongue, they're going to start salivating, foaming up. If it happens, don't, don't be afraid. It's just normal reaction, but we we'll try to avoid that happening and I'll show you how to do it. When we administer tablets, 
we want to make it as quick and as stress-free as possible. So what I do, I use butter. We need a little bit of butter and we um, would like to wait a couple of minutes so it's nice and soft and warm, warmed up in the room temperature. I'm going to use this vitamin as an example. So basically, we want to smother it in butter, make it slimy and easy to fall down the throat. You could keep it, you could hold it in your finger like that. As you can see, cats are naturally drawn to butter and cream, but the butter is the better product to use in our case because it's sticky. And what we want to smother a tablet in it and stick it to our finger. Kittens should be positioned on a table or floor, not laying in bed or on your lap. It needs to have all four on, on the ground. So we scruff the kitten and lift it to open up the neck area so it's nice and straight. Tablet is stuck to my finger. We open the jaw and stick the tablet in with your finger. We could rub it a bit here to make sure it's gone through. When the cat licks its lips, it means it swallowed something. So we're going to give him an extra treat. Now he can have his butter. Thank you for watching. I hope it was useful. You are free to contact me at any time. And please remember to take out pet insurance at least for the first year. That will cover veterinary expenses and any accidents that could occur. And we'll say thanks to him for being such a good and tolerant kitten.